Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to detect the different emotions in each word in a piece of text. And it's really easy to do, only requires one library in Python. And in the end, I'm going to show you how to use Matplotlib to display a bar chart that shows all the different emotions and the words that correspond with each emotion. So let's get into it. All right, so first I'm going to say pip install nrclex. And this is basically the package that's going to let you detect the different emotions in the string. And so I'm going to do enter. And for me, it says requirement already satisfied, but that's because I already have installed. But if you didn't have installed, then say like the installation is successfully completed, something like that. And now that we successfully have this package to use, I'm going to go over to Jupyter Notebook and show you how to import this library. So over here, I'm going to do, I'm going to say from nrclex, import nrc lex but you have to make sure that the first four letters are uppercase and the e and the x are lowercase and then i'm also going to say from matplotlib import pyplot as plt and this is going to be for the bar chart which i'll show you later in the end and i'm going to run that and now i'm going to say i'm going to create an instance of this class so i'm going to say emotion is equal to nrclex and inside the parentheses i'm going to say text before i actually run that i need to create another variable called text that contains the string that we want to use to detect the emotions with so before i create the instance of the nrclex class i'm going to say text is equal to and then i'm going to pass in the string that i want to detect the emotions in and so in this case i'm just going to paste in lyrics of a song you can do whatever string you want but I'm just gonna do that the lyrics for this video and it's gonna be if I search it up it's gonna be circles by post Malone the lyrics and I'm just gonna copy all this and then paste it you can do whatever song you want this is just one of my favorite songs and then gonna go here then I'm gonna paste it in the search bar and then gonna do control a control X because that's gonna make it all in one line when I paste it in here like that and so now this text variable contains all the lyrics for the Post Malone song and then I have to also end this string quote. So I'm actually going to use double string, the double quote instead of a single quote because the lyrics themselves have the single quote. So I don't want to have an issue so I'll just do double quote here. And then now I could run that. And now I could do a lot of cool things with this emotion this instance. So this emotion instance has access to all the methods in the nrclax class. And so one of the methods is is emotions, I'll say print emotions or emotion.words. And if I run that, it's going to print out all the words in the string that I passed in here. And each word in the string is its own element in the whole list that it returns. And you can print out the emotions that are associated with each word in the lyrics by saying print print emotions dot and then effect and then dictionary. And then if I run that, then it's gonna show all it's gonna return a dictionary and then it's gonna show all the words that the NRCLEX class recognizes as something that can be that could be associated with some sort of emotion. So you can see bad, proud, time, and has each word, each of these words has multiple emotions that could be associated with depending on the context. And so not all of the words in the lyrics are actually shown here because some words don't, the NRC Alex class doesn't detect an emotion with some of the words. So it's only the, the trigger words that the nrclex class recognizes in here and if you do print emotion dot raw emotion scores run that that's actually gonna return a dictionary with the keys being the emotion and the values being the number of times that emotion occurs so it basically counts up all the emotions for you and this this method is going to be useful for us 
later in the video. Now I'm gonna display the dictionary that you just saw into a bar chart using my palette. I'm actually gonna capitalize the first letter of each of the keys, which is the emotions. Because right now it's all, you can see it's all in lowercase, the emotions. I want the first letter to be capitalized for when I put it in the bar chart later. So I'm gonna say, first I'm gonna say the emotion data is equal to emotion dot raw emotion scores. And that's gonna, this emotion data is just gonna contain the same dictionary that I have over here. And now I'm gonna loop through each key value pair by saying the I'm gonna say for key value in emotion data dot, dot items. So basically emotion data dot items that's gonna uh, return a tuple a key value tuple pair and then for each key value pair in this whole dictionary I'm gonna say key dot capitalize and then put the value here. So basically in each key value pair in this whole dictionary, I want to capitalize the first letter of the key. So this is gonna be capitalized, this is gonna be capitalized and so on. So now if I run that, now you can see the first letter is capitalized, which is what I want. And so now I'm gonna separate the keys and the values because it's gonna make it a bit easier for me when I separate it and when when I put it in the, the bar chart later. So I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna create a new variable called keys is equal to emotion data dot keys. And let me run that just to make sure it's right. Yeah, so that returns all the keys in the dictionary over here. And so I'm gonna do the same thing with values, emotion data dot values. And so now I'm gonna use these keys and these values, I'm gonna input them inside the, I'm gonna put them inside the the bar chart method in my Pelib. But before I actually do that, I'm actually gonna add another thing. I'm gonna say list, convert it to a list. Because if the keys and the values are a list, then it makes it a lot easier for me for creating a bar chart. And so if I just print out keys and print out values, then you can see that each this list contains all the keys over here and then this list contains all the values. So that's what I want and now we can move on to creating the actual bar chart. So now I'm going to say plt.bar and I'm just going to pass in the keys and the values and I'll say plt.show and if I do that you get a nice bar chart but you can see the problem is that these the axis titles or the axis the x-axis labels they're overlapping each other so what I want to do is I'm say plt.figure and then fig size is equal to 10.5 I just passed in a random random values basically this is the width the inches the inches for the width this is the inches for the height and so if I run that then it makes it a bit wider and a bit taller but it's still overlap, kind of overlapping over here and there's not enough space between these two axis labels so I'm going to do another thing I'm going to say plt.xtix and I'm going rot to rotate it by 45 degrees so that the, the, the labels they're not going to overlap each other and there's going to be some space between each axis label so I'm gonna say rotation is equal to 45. Run that and then now you can see there's a lot of space between them because they're rotated. That's looking pretty good. There's a lot more you can do with this graph. You could add a axis title or you can add the whole title to this whole bar chart. You could maybe make this bar chart in descending order so that the one with the highest count, the anticipation emotion, which has 12 words associated with it. Maybe you can make that all the way in the left side and it gradually gets lower and lower and lower with the the lowest one being all the way in the right side of the graph. Maybe you could do that, but the main point of this is just to show you how to get the basic thing down. I'm not gonna show you any advanced styling because the point of the video is to 
showed that you could detect emotions in a string and you could easily, you could really simply create a bar chart in a really s simple way. And so you could do more advanced styling on your own if you want. I actually encourage you to do that because you're gonna learn, you'll learn a lot more with Matplotlib if you just play around with the styling. But I don't have enough time for this video, so I think that's all it's gonna be for today. All right, that's all I got for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're interested in learning how to integrate API in Python, then make sure to check out this video over here because learning how to use APIs is a really important skill in data science. So I highly encourage you to check that out. Hopefully I see you there. And again, thank you guys so much for watching.